this is the future and it's going to be quicker and it's going to save labor it's going to save money it's going to help make plumbing companies more money is pex plumbing bad pros and cons of installing pex plumbing so first of all if you get value here and you like what you see on this channel do me a favor hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything make sure you stay till the end because i'm going to show you the worst pex plumbing job i've ever seen actually the worst plumbing job i've ever seen in my life so first of all what is pex well pex is cross-linked polyethylene now there's different types and it's not just the fact that this one is solid white and this one is kind of a clear white there's different things about each one of them and that's what we're going to talk about today is what the differences are in them and why you would want to use them compared to maybe copper well first of all let's talk about some of the pros of pex pex is number one easy to install it's lightweight it's slightly flexible and i will tell you this pex a is more flexible than pex b you can actually bend it make curves with it you can do different things and this is going to save you time and money on fittings and think about when you're building a building whether it be a house or an office building or anything that pex is rated for both residential and commercial think about this pex material the plastic pipe is going to be cheaper than copper and if it's easy to use, easy to move around, and easy to work with, it's going to save you labor also. Now, I'm not saying copper's hard, but copper is heavier. Another pro to PEX, I remember working on Methodist Hospital in downtown Dallas, and we came in one Monday morning, and we were missing a bunch of copper. Well, it turns out somebody had broken in, taken a lot of copper out of the rack, because we had it put up pretty good, put it on a shopping cart, and tried walking down the street with it. Well, they got caught. Here's the thing about PEX, not many people are breaking onto jobs and stealing it and when I say that I mean I've seen people go into job sites and cut copper out of walls that are already installed so yeah it's kind of crazy there's less chance of this getting stolen but let's go back to the install how easy is it to just make a curve like that instead of having to cut a piece of pipe and install a 90 there solder it braze it whatever it is you're trying to do so these are some pros it's faster to work with it's cheaper to work with and therefore it's going to save you labor so you're saving money on materials you're saving money on labor now one of my things about it i don't think it looks as professional i mean to me that curve don't get me wrong it doesn't look bad but if i've got two pieces of hard copper pipe here and i sweat a 90 there it's going to be true square plum and it's going to look good but in the long run we're trying to save money and put in product that'll last longer when it comes to the lasting longer the warranty on pex pipes 25 years the warranty on copper is 50 years so there's a little bit of a difference there me i think we should build houses to last longer not shorter but that's just my own opinion. Now, another benefit of PEX, and it's something we've started doing here in Texas, used to, we could not do reroutes. If you had a leak under a slab, you literally made a hole in the ground and you did it. You know, one thing we used to not be able to do in Texas is reroute because we didn't want copper up in the attics. But now, one benefit to PEX is its ability to stand freezing conditions longer. This expands and contracts, especially PEX A, which this is. Now, PEX A is made to expand and contract because that's actually how it connects. This is a three quarter inch PEX fitting and this is a three quarter inch PEX B fitting. Now PEX B is made to go inside the pipe and then you put a crimp ring on it. So I'm gonna start talking about the cons of PEX now because we've gotten to new houses that they actually say, look, by the time we get hot water to our master shower, we don't have a lot of flow. Here's what we determined the problem to be. And we actually went through and fixed it so we know that was the problem. The reduction in the size of fitting. If you look at the inside of this pipe and you look at how thick the wall of this fitting is, it definitely creates a flow restriction. That is one thing that I do like about the PEX A. PEX A, if you look at the size of the fitting right there, these are both for three quarter inch pipe, the pipe that we're working with right here. This one, PEX A, expand the pipe, slide the fitting inside of it, and it locks down. Now, you've got a ring that you put on it, and you don't want to forget it, but you put that in, put your expansion tool in, it expands it, and then the fitting goes inside of it. 
And I like that it's got this big lip on here to keep it from coming out. The cool thing about PEX is that it's continuously trying to get back to its normal size. So when you expand it, it's continuously trying to tighten down and get to the size that it was. Well, that's also a problem with PEX B. Once you squeeze it and crimp it, it's continuously pushing out, trying to get back to its normal pipe size. Now, I don't see a lot of leaks from that, but it's something to think about when you're trying to determine which to use on either your home, your company, me whatever it is so a lot of the pros it's light it's easy to work with it doesn't take long to learn how to use it not like soldering or brazing where people can really mess up if they're not trained well this is something that you push it together you squeeze it you crimp it you clamp it you do whatever you do then there's actually tools to help determine did it do right did it work i love the expansion type pex a more than pex b for a couple of reasons number one flexibility it's easier to work with if you're looping it up under a ground, you don't have to worry about kinking near as bad with PEX A as you do with PEX B. The other thing is the flow restriction. If you're putting one of these fittings in, which one do you think is gonna create a flow restriction and which one do you think isn't? So let's recover the pros. First of all, the flexibility. It's easy to work with, both PEX A and PEX B. PEX A is more flexible and less likely to kink, so that's a good thing. The time. Number one, it's lighter. Number two, you're gonna use less fittings and believe it or not, even making the connections is gonna happen faster. You can use push to connect fittings, you can use clamps, you can use crimps, and you can use expansion. So the options here are good. That leads into another thing. Not only is it more flexible and you're gonna get it installed quicker, but it's gonna be cheaper on labor and the materials both compared to copper. So is this a good thing for the future? I absolutely think so. The training, there's not much training. You teach someone how to do it, you give them the right tools, it's not like soldering or brazing where they can mess up and you can have major leaks later. Normally, when you put this together, no matter which way you go, as long as you use the right tools to test it, it's gonna be together and it's gonna stay together for a long time. Freeze resistant, the pipes, absolutely. If I were worried about freeze resistant, man, do I really want these plastic fittings up in there. They're not made to be flexible like the pipe is. They don't expand and contract like the pipe does. I would probably go to a brass fitting. Now, this is PEX B, so this is the crimp style. And again, as you see, it's a smaller diameter. It can almost go inside of the expansion fitting. So think about what fittings you're using and how you're using them. Another great benefit to this, if you're in an area that's really tight to work in, PEX may be a better product. The reason being, no flame. You're not gonna have to solder it, you're not gonna have to braze it, you're not gonna be working up against wood with a flame, or maybe you're in an industrial area where there's chemicals where you can't use a flame. It could actually make your job a whole lot easier. And also, if it's in a house when you've got water running through it, PEX is gonna be quieter. PEX A and PEX B. The biggest downfall to me is Compared to PEX B, you're gonna create flow restriction where copper doesn't and PEX A doesn't. And the only other real downfall that I see is the 25 year warranty on PEX and 50 year on copper. I understand that this is the future and it's gonna be quicker and it's gonna save labor, it's gonna save money, it's gonna help make plumbing companies more money. I completely understand that. Here's the thing though, as good as you get at this, please always remember, learn how to braze, learn how to solder and do it the right way. There may be a time for it. The push to connect fittings, I've gotta tell you, especially after working with quick fitting here lately, that's a product that's gonna work and do well in the future. And I think it's gonna change the way we do a lot of things. I don't like the flow restriction on PEX, so I would always go PEX A and go expansion because I think that's what's best for our customers. Now, I told you to hang around. Have you seen the video that I did? I had another plumber call me and say, look, you really need to drive up here way outside my area to look at a job. They had actually installed PEX A. They did the right thing, but the way they installed it, literally, they had PEX hanging all through the house, wrapped up around a ceiling fan, dropped down a wall behind it and stuck through it to get to fixtures. Guys, just like anything else, if you install it, install it the right way. I hope you got something good out of this. If you're a plumber and you use PEX A, PEX B, crimp, clamp, expansion, push together, whatever it is you're using, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what are your reasons for using PEX. I've given you mine. I'm Roger Wakefield, helping you make more money in the trades.